most famous physical therapist on the internet. Hi, folks. I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Together, we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Brad, today I want to talk about uh, ankle sprain versus a break, and how do you tell? And also, I'm gonna, we're going to show you how to wrap an ankle. So it's kind of the basics, the basic stuff to do when you first hurt your ankle. I'm glad you brought this up because we just had a viewer asking this exact same thing with his ankle just yesterday or the day before, so this is perfect timing. Yeah, and uh, by the way, I see that a few people are new to us out there. There's in, a few million. In, in the video world, so um, if you want to take just a second to subscribe to us, the subscribe button's over here on the left side of Brad, your right side. We provide videos on how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Say no more. All right, Brad, the first thing is, you know, that is the first question that comes on, at least in my mind, when somebody sprains their ankle, they usually turn it this way, don't they? Right, usually and, inversion. But they can go that way too, so we'll yeah. test both. Right, yeah. Um, uh, but the first question that always comes up, is it broke? Right. And, and these are guidelines that they use in emergency rooms. Mm -hmm. It's called Ottawa Rules, Ottawa from Ottawa, Canada. Oh, really? place, yeah. And they actually have rules for the knee too. In Canada. In Canada. And we yeah. use them here too. That's right. Okay. We're not against the Canadians. Good. All right. So the first thing you're going to do, Brad, is uh, uh, one thing is you're going to just, let, let's say we take a look at your ankle. Yeah, let's look at my ankle, Bob. But the first thing, very simple. Is there anything that looks out of place? Is there anything angulated? You know, if you, if you, if you look at one leg compared to another, like, right. and you should look all the way up here, Brad, because this, we have that thin little fibula bone here that runs all the way up here. Right. And, you, and it can break up here. Sure. So you, you want to look. Is there something sticking out? Is there, you know, is this bone really sticking out compared to another? Just looking at the general anatomy. Right. Very simple. Mm -hmm. The next thing you're going to do is what we call the squeeze test, Brad. And this is for a high ankle sprain. So you're going to take your hands like here, and you're just going to squeeze. And you're squeezing. You're really trying to squeeze this bone right here. The fibula? Yeah, the fibula. Mm -hmm. So you can take it yourself, Brad, yeah. and, and give it a good... Yeah, that's a good way to do it. Squeeze it like it's, that. It's easy to do on yourself because you can put your fingers like this and you get pretty good force. And, and, gonna... and you can work your way down. Mm -hmm. And if it hurts all the way up here, Brad, and you feel it down here, yeah. that means you have a high ankle sprain, you have to go in. Okay. Because that, that's the type of sprain where the syndemosis syndom ligaments... They, they really can create an instability in your ankle that okay. can give you trouble uh, in the future. Long term. And mm -hmm. in fact, Joni, our office manager, is coming in today for me to look at this because she's been having it for three months, and I think she has that. Uh -huh. yeah. So that, that's a very simple one that you're going in. If you're, you're feeling pain when you squeeze here and, you, and it goes on here. Yeah, so I squeeze here, pain there, yeah. red flag. You're going in. Yep. All right, next thing is uh, these are the Ottawa rules. And, and what you're going to do is you're going you're gonna to palpate or push on certain bones and if there's bone tenderness there, you're going in. Okay. All right, so we got mine right here, Brad. I see you got your ankle taped up, yep. Bob. So let's start off with, this is the outside of the ankle. Yep. This is the one where it's gonna to tend to be more happen more often because you're, you're turning your ankle this way. Sure. If at the tip of this bone here, the ankle bone here. Yeah, we call tip, that the lateral malleolus. Yep, if it's tender there, mm -hmm. you, you're gonna go in. If it's tender along the, the back edge of that, all the way up for six centimeters, yep. anywhere along here, mm -hmm. normally the tenderness is gonna be in the ligaments. Sure. Down, and we'll show you those, we'll, we'll draw those in. So what you're saying, you're going on the bone on itself? On the bone itself, and if there's tenderness on the tip or along here, you're going in, because you could have an avulsion fracture. Okay, um, so what we're saying is, is it's indicative that there's actually a bony fracture. Right. Okay. Now let's, by the way, this test is accurate 98, I mean, it, it catches 98.5% of the fractures. Right. So it's possible you could do these and you could still have a fracture, but it's a very small percentage. Right. Also, it does not mean you have a fracture. It's wrong like in 30% of the cases. So Now you confuse me, but that's okay. Uh, we'll go on. It's accurate in 98%. <laughs> I mean, it won't miss it. You okay. Know? But okay. if you go in, it, it, there's 30% of the cases where it, it really isn't a fracture. It's okay. just a bone tender. Sure. The other one, you're going to go is along the edge of the, the, the fifth metatarsal here, Brad. Yep. So that's right along the edge. This small bone mm -hmm. right here often can get right. a little bit of a fracture. All now, right, so those two spots. Now, that being said, did you have any numbers on overall ankle sprains? How many are actually have a fracture? No, I don't. Okay. No. I'm assuming most of them don't. Right. It's low. Right. It's low. All right, now we're going to go to the other side of the foot, Brad. We're still with me, Lonnie? All right, now we got along this out the inside bone, mm -hmm. okay, the medial malleolus. Same thing, is it tender on the tip or along the back edge of it? Right. Okay. 
And this one's a little more trickier. This is the navicular bone. So you can, you can see it's right here. I don't know how else to point it. Yeah. I don't so know if Lonnie can pick that up. Can you pick that up, Lonnie? Yeah. Yeah. So, right here. So th this one right here is this that bone, one. the bottom of the tibia. And here's the navicular bone right there. Yep. Sticks out a little bit. Yep. Hard to see from there, but so it's So if there. you're going along in here and you're tender, all right, you're going in. Now, I, I'm assuming if they have a bad ankle sprain, one of those that balloons up pretty quickly, it's going to be kind of hard to feel this. It might be. I mean, especially if, you, if you're not a therapist or a doctor where you really know the anatomy well. Then you go in. Yeah. I mean, don't, yep. don't rely on us. The other thing, Brad, is a good telltale sign if you have the inability to bear weight. I mean, sure. If, if you can't bear weight and you go to the emergency room, you still can't bear weight, they're going to do x-rays. Right. Yep. So, all right, we're through all that. All right, you found out, you know, there's no tenderness anywhere there. The next thing I would probably do, Brad, is do you want to grab one of the markers? Just one of the... What color do you want, Bob? Any color is we fine. We got red. We so got So the bones blue, are fine. Black. So I'm gonna try the black one. you're going to find out that generally the culprit is the anterior talofibular ligament, which it runs like about right here. Mm -hmm. So if you rub on that and it's tender, it really hurts, that's probably what you damage. Sure. Um, Calcaneal fibular ligament, Brad, that's another uh, popular one. Right. And then the posterior talar fibular ligament. These are all that stabilize that ankle on a normal healthy ankle. Right. So if you uh, go ahead and rub on there, it, you know, it would be tenderness. Now, you, there's great three grades that these can be hurt. Sure. You know? The first grade is you're going to have minimal pain, minimal tenderness. You can still bear weight. There's no instability. That's grade one. Right. Grade two, you're going to have some minor tears, mm -hmm. uh, maybe a little bit of instability, a um, little bit of swelling. Right. Grade three, you could have completely tore it, mm -hmm. um, and it can still heal. Sure. Um, surgery on ankles is pretty rare, to be honest with you. You mean for the ligaments? Yeah, for right. the ligaments. Right, if you've got a ligament, soft tissue problem. Um, it can cause a great deal of instability, and um, you could have a lot of uh, you know, bruising and, and swelling. Right, looks black and blue, the ecchymosis. Right, that, mm -hmm. that could be a bad one. So based on that, if you have a grade one, you're going to do these things for about one to three days. The next things we're going to talk about. Mm -hmm. If you have a grade two, you're going to do it for two to four days. Okay. And if you have a grade three, you're going to do this for three to seven days. What, so, Bob? Tell me gonna, what. Well, all right. <laughs> you know, price. Yes. Uh, ice, elevation, compression. Right. Um, cold so pack. Cold pack on there. Um, and also, you're going to want to limit your weight bearing. So you're going to probably want to be on crutches during that Basically period of time. Basically, protect it and cold pack it. Uh, elevated, everything to get rid of that swelling. Right. Um, these braces work out real well, Brad. These uh, air cast braces, they just, they got two air bladders and then they got the, the Velcro straps around them and. Yeah, you keep talking about it. Sure. I'll, I'll put it on. They work out real well to protect it. So, um, you're, like I said, we're going to want, want you to keep it elevated as much as possible. Brad's going to go ahead and put this on real quick and it straps on. Okay, I don't have it on exactly right, but they get the idea. Get the idea. Yep, this would go down. All here. right, what we're going to do now is we're going to cut away just for a second, and we're going to get ourselves repositioned to show you how to wrap the ankle. Sure. All right, so we're going to take a regular elastic ace wrap, Brad. I like the ones that are a little smaller, to be honest with you, because it, it, they overlap easier, then you don't get the little ear. Especially tags. when you go around the heel bone itself, I, I think it's right. easier too. So to me, um, first off, the ankle, most people sprain it by turning it this way. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to wrap it in such a way that it's going to pull it out that way a bit. Right. And it just feels a lot better doing it sure. that way. Mm -hmm. The other thing, you may make sure there's no debris on there because you're going to wrap that debris right up in there with it. Yeah, so. you never know. If they've been playing a sport, Yeah, it might be a little... So, the, yeah, it might be a little <laughs> gunky. Yeah. Um, I, want, I want you to start this way, Brad, here, mm -hmm. though. You got your roll here. You got the, right up here. I want you to start here on the inside of the foot and you're going to go underneath the foot first. Right. And I'll show you in a second why that is that it, case. If you went, go the other way once, Bob, you'll see it. it like this. Or that way, or if you go this way, it's really hard to unwrap it. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you do yeah. it so it rolls off. So we're like this. There you go. And you can start here. And we're starting down here because if there's going to be fluid in here more often. Swelling, than not, yep. Edema. And in order for fluid to get out of the system, we need to push it up into the, the leg. Right. So we don't want the, you know, it doesn't go out the toes. <laughs> so if we start wrapping up here and we wrap tight, 
it'll push the fluid down into the foot, right. and that's the last thing you right. want to do. So, so it's tighter here, not so tight as we go towards the knee. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to wrap around. Kind of go halfway. Now, I've got my foot in that neutral position. I'm doing that because I know. Yeah. But you're probably not going to do it with your foot it was a good point, down. Brad. You're, you're, I missed that. You're supposed to have the foot up like this. Right. Yeah. And sometimes you maybe even have to give a little pressure on it, yeah, but usually support. the person can, can hold it. This is where, why I want it to start the way I did. Because right when I get here, Brad, and I'm, I'm going to do a figure eight now. You see, mm -hmm. I was just doing a spiral at yeah. that point. When I get right here on the figure eight, I'm going to come down here, and here I'm going to give a little tug. Okay, yep. So that it. pulls the foot this way. Yep. He sprained it this way. So by pulling it this way, I'm giving it a little bit of tug and right. keeping it out of that harmful position. Yep. And now I'm just going to go around and do a figure eight. Around and around we go, right, Brad? Yep. One thing I failed to mention, Brad, and I'll, I'll come up here, and then usually you have some type of either tape or la they have Velcro or they right. have the clips. But one thing I failed to mention, Brad, if you have a bad ankle sprain like the grade three, you mm. might need to be put in a boot. Sure. Um, for, yep. for that for yep. that period of time while it's while it's it's sure here. so sure all right Brad um well, what was there any points you want to make there was but I forgot it <laughs> <laughs> we can fix just about anything folks yeah but we're but working broken brain <laughs> say no more thanks Bob. say no thanks. more